Hi guys, thanks for coming back. I wanted to share a few beauty items that I've been loving so far. Some new colors I've been experimenting with and some old stuff that I've been pulling out of my stash. So I wanted to share with you, I want you to know what I've been loving and maybe you've probably been loving the same things as well. Since I'll be traveling very, very soon, I picked up this really pretty little tiny uh, makeup bag by Sonia Kashik. Um, at Target. I thought the color is so cute and it's so teeny that it would be perfect just to fit the right amount of products to fit in my bag. So I've been kind of obsessed with this lately because it's so small, you can throw it in your purse. It kind of limits the amount of products you don't overpack, which is great. You know, I always overpack. So, so while I'm in Walmart, I picked up these amazing masks by Freeman. I love their masks. I mean, these are the only two I have left, but I've had a couple. This is the clay, the purifying clay mask, Akai. So it purifies and smooths your face. This is a, a clay one. I have very oily skin, so I really love clay masks. I love this one. Um, and this one is also a facial hydrating fever mask. So a blue agave. Um, and it's those peeper masks, so you peel it off, so you just place it on your face, and once it dries, you just take it off, and all the serum that was in this mask sinks into your skin. So this is really nice. Can't wait to use this. The other thing that I picked up was this tiny little like beauty sponge. People using these kind of sponges to apply their foundation, and I'm not sure why. I haven't tried it yet. And I picked this one up you know, picked this one up at one of my local beauty supply stores and I'm obsessed with it. Officially obsessed. What you do is you just run this on water, you squeeze it out a little bit to get it damp, and you apply your foundation on your face and then you just pat it into your skin. I definitely see a huge difference compared to using a brush and then using this. And I absolutely love it. So I'm trusting on my brushes. Just kidding. But I really love it. Another thing that I've been loving, I'm contouring more on my face, and I've been, you know, pulling, I pulled this back out, it's Max Blunt um, Blush, and I love this. It's definitely a very harsh color, but if you use a tiny little bit, it gives you the perfect amount of contour, you know, on your face. So on the other lines of MAC, I have this MAC Beauty Powder that I've had for a while, and it's called Too Chic, it's a beauty, beauty powder. And I love this, I use these for highlights. So, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's very iridescent, it's beautiful. And what I do is I just basically put it on the highlights of, I highlight my cheekbone here and here, down the center of my nose, a little bit on here, and a little bit here, and I love it. Every now and then, sometimes I put it under my brow bone, and I believe today I did, so. Gorgeous. Love this. So I pulled that out again. So when spring and summer comes around, I like more things that are shimmery on my face compared to uh, winter time where I like things that are more matte. I really rarely use Wet n Wild, but I know that a lot of people have been raving about their shadows. So while I was at CVS, I picked up a couple things and this was one of them. For spring, I've been obsessed with these like coral pink shades. So I figured why not give this little palette to try and I love it the the colors are really buttery um, they're not powdery which I am pleasant pleasantly surprised the colors are gorgeous and what I do is I use this one all over my lid I use this one just to buff out the color above my crease and on my crease and then I go in with the darker crease one um, to define my crease a little bit more so I absolutely love that little that shade it's gorgeous and then this yellow here and I also use this aqua color I love wearing the aqua color underneath the eye you know blending it out underneath the eye and this yellow one which I thought would be like bright yellow which I wasn't a fan of but when I swatched it it's more of like a yellow gold so that's really pretty too can't wait to use that as well so I'm really really surprised with this palette it was only $4.99 and I kind of want to pick up more, so you guys should check it out as well. More. What else? What else? I am, or have been, lately obsessed with these Remmel Show Off lip lacquers. So they're more of like a liquid lipstick, more than a lip gloss. 
They are extremely pigmented and this color is Aurora. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love these as stains. So what I do is I apply it all over my lips and then I blot it with the tissue and it gives me a stain throughout the whole day. And to me it feels, it's like a more natural stain. Because throughout the day I'll just apply um, chapstick. Here's another color, but this is a little bit more, this is stellar and it's a little bit brighter. But I'm a bit obsessed with these bright colors for spring and for summer. Like I said with the stain, then I'll put a lip gloss or chapstick on top of it. Now if you know me, you know that I love the Nivea chapsticks. They're buttery, they're soft, they're moisturizing, but everybody's raving about these baby lips. So I had to pick it up and try it. This, is, this one is the Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. And I believe the Doctor Rescue ones are the ones that are more medicated, so it'll have that menthol feeling. So it's more minty. I love it. To me, it's like a two-in-one. Smells like menthol. This is amazing. I mean, why didn't I pick, wear this earlier? Obsessed. And I mean, I don't know if I want to go pick up every color. Why well, have every color lip balm? This doesn't give any color. But I really, really enjoy it. Another one that I pulled out of my collection is MAC Lustering. So this is a luster finish, and a luster finish is more of like a sheer finish. But I'm obs I've been obsessed with these colors, as you can tell. So I'm loving this one as well. Not sure if you can see that, but maybe you can. Loving this. If you haven't tried this, this color, it gives you such a sheer wash of color, but it's really beautiful. It's not super, you know, bright, but it's like on the lines of a lip gloss, but more on in the lipstick form. That's kind of what a luster is. It's it's beautiful. Check it out. Lustering. So let's go back and now we're gonna go on to the face. I've been kind of researching BB creams. I've seen so many people tinted moisturizers and usually in the summertime I'll like more of a sheer foundation. So I've decided that I wanted to try to get into BB creams, tinted moisturizers. Like I said, I'm going on vacation so I just want more of a very sheer wash of color, nothing too fancy. When I get up in the morning I just want to throw on something real quick just to even out my skin with a little SPF and I'm out the door. The first one I picked up was by CoverGirl. It's the CG Smoothers BB Cream Broad Spectrum Tinted Moisturizer with Sunscreen and it has an SPF of 21 and this color is in medium dark. It's um, hydrating as well as has great SPF for summer and spring. So if you're going to be outdoors, it's a great idea to wear something that has SPF in it. I enjoy it. Um, and then I saw this is the Remel London BB Cream. It's 9 in 1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. Um, this is also in medium dark. I love this. This not only has 9 properties in 1, it minimizes pores, conceals, covers, smooths, mattifies, brightens, and helps protect and last all day. Okay, it doesn't last all day, I'm going to say. It lasts a pretty good amount of time. So for me, the mattifying, check. For me, smoothing, covering, concealing, everything that it says, it really does. I'm not going to lie. It does, I do see a little bit of oiliness in my t-zone after a couple of hours but that's okay i'll blot a little i love the way this makes me look i love the color and it definitely does brighten i love both of them try them both out they're at a great affordable price because they're at the drugstore so for six seven bucks you got something great so that's all i have for today i hope you found some inspiration in the colors that i'm wearing and until then i'll see you soon bye guys thanks for watching